Just a quick disclaimer, this SFX makeup tutorial does contain some slightly graphic content some viewers may find disturbing or uncomfortable. Everything is made with SFX makeup. Please view at your own discretion. Hi everyone, my name is Nikki. Welcome to my channel and Halloween week. So for this tutorial, we're making a sliced stapled forehead wound and we're going to be using scar wax. So I decided to roll it into a cylinder with each end slightly thinner than the center and then press it firmly to my head to stick it down. Ensure that it's secured down very well and then we'll begin with the Vaseline to start smoothing it out and molding it. You'll add the Vaseline onto your fingers and what this will do, it'll stop the scar wax from sticking to your hands and it will make molding it a lot easier. Try and blend in all of the edges as well as you can into your skin so that the edges look as seamless as you can possibly make them look. Once you're happy with the appearance of the scar wax on your forehead, you're then going to take an object with a flat edge such as that of a nail file, coat it in Vaseline and then begin to create the slice in the scar wax. Then you're going to use the edge of it and start manipulating the scar wax into the shape of the wound, start creating folds making it larger and so certain areas until you're happy. And then just to neaten up the edges, we're going to be using the Vaseline again, however, on a brush and then start brushing the edges of the cut that you just made. Always make sure that when working with scar wax, you take your time to blend it as well as you possibly can into your skin because the whole point of SFX makeup is realism. So anyway, once you're done and you're happy with that, you'll set it with some face powder. I use the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot powder. Then I'm going in with a smaller brush and the powder again, just to get into all of the hidden areas and make sure all of the scar wax is set. Next, we're going to begin by creating the irritation and I'm using these rosy toned pink eyeshadow shades. I'm using a brush and just dotting the, the eyeshadows around the entrance and exit sides of the cut, trying to make the skin look as irritated as possible. Also, I'm using a variety of colors just to create some more realism and make it look a lot more realistic. I'm then going to be using this purple eyeshadow to enhance a bruising effect and darken certain areas. Then I'll be using this bright yellow so it looks like some bruising is setting in. I then decided to bring some of this irritation and bruising down to the side of my face here because I wanted to create the effect of an impact wound. As you can see, one area is slightly more heavily bruised than the other and then using this vibrant purple and using that just to enhance the bruising. Moving on, we're going to be deepening the cut with some black and brown eyeshadow. This does create the illusion of depth, so what I'm doing, I'm adding it onto this very small fine brush and going deep inside the SFX cut wound that we just made. No matter what medium or what type of SFX makeup tutorial, if I'm going to be doing a cut like this, I always use the same techniques. After that, I'll just be focusing on the area around the cut. So here I'm using this lip liner and adding a very small cut onto the side of my face near the bruising. And then what I'll do, I'll add some brown eyeshadow just to deepen the cut and make it look a little bit more realistic, highlighting the edges with some light eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to be using some fake blood and going inside the cut with a very small fine brush. This is, of course, one of the most fun parts and the most gory. I'll then use a slightly bigger brush just to spot some blood around the edges of the cut wound. And now I'm moving on to using these staples. So I just bent some wire into these hook shapes and then added some liquid latex onto the end. And then using some tweezers, I carefully placed them into place around the cut and pushed them into the scar wax so it looks like the wound has been stapled. If you guys are interested or perhaps want some more in-depth tutorials on how to create different types of SFX wounds, I did post a video yesterday in Halloween week about how to create different types of cuts in different SFX mediums, so do go and check that out. Of course we're going to be adding some finishing touches just to perfect the look and I'm also dabbing some fake blood around the cut on the small fine brush and then using my finger just to blend it outwards and create some small splatter. And then we're done. So that's it for the tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe, hit the bell to receive notifications, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, a brilliant Halloween, and stay spooky.